Hey guys, Double A25 here, and this is a video showing you how to use Time Machine after you install it. So, what you will need is Pandora's battery. I have one right here. As you guys can see, it's taped because it's been opened. And the memory stick that contains the Time Machine files, my 256 megabyte one. And what you need to do is first, you want to go to your PSP. Mine's right here, and you want to insert the memory stick, which I'm going to do right now. And that's the first thing you do before you put the battery in. Just push that in when it, and then you push that in. Mine isn't doing it. Uh, you push it in. There you go. And then next. You'd want to put your battery in, but before you put your battery in, you have to take notice of some things. How Time Machine works is that it installs a bunch of things onto your PSP, and then you have to press a certain button while inserting the battery in so you can run that command. For example, I want to use 1.50 without for the fat PSP. I would press X, press and hold while inserting the Pandora's battery in. And then, when I do that, it should run 1.50 for fat PSP. Of course, I won't do it on a slim because it won't work. And since I don't remember what does what, what I'm going to do is, we're going to show you, if you don't remember what's what, how you can remember which button does what on your computer. Now, if you've installed... If you watched my video on how to install Time Machine, you had to install a nifty file. Files for Time Machine. You had to install that if you uh, watched my video on how to install it. So, if you could just open that again. And then the WinRAR thing will pop up. You can have the folder and the three files. Just double click on that and then you can have time machine 360 dumper read me leave me so you want read me of course unless you know how to read Spanish or Latin or whatever language that is you can have a read me for time machine and if I could just find uh, then you're just gonna like scroll down basically until you can find, oops, I went way too down. Until you can find what does what. So let me just scroll back up. Until I find it. Um, I think I went way too down. Oh, here we go. So here are the controls. Default configuration to load the IPLs. So 1.50 is cross, 1.50 plus 340 uh, modules is circle, 3.40 open edition triangle, 3.60 M33 square, and Pandora DCL1, DC1 through 4 IPL is digital up. So, what you need to do is we can get away from this computer, go back to the nifty PSP here, and in this video, I'm just going to show you... Uh, just going to use the 150, 150 with the modules. So what I'm going to do is press circle, press and hold it while I insert the battery in. So, see, so I didn't insert the battery in. Now I'm going to press, I don't know if you guys can see that, but now I'm going to press circle while inserting the battery in. Okay, press and hold. Now you see the green light light up. You should see the memory stick flashing after a while. Yep, there it is. PSP is going to boot up. I can let go of circle now. And as you can see, I'm in 1.50 because I don't have that network section here. And just to prove it to you, system settings, system information, 1.50. And yeah, it gives you a random nickname. Um, any settings that you change when you're using Time Machine, it's not affect doesn't affect your actual settings on your PSP already. It since it's reading from the memory stick, anything that's will go anything that you do on 
Time Machine firmware will go onto your memory stick. And yeah, that's how you use Time Machine. Questions, comments? Just personal message, comment section. Yeah, you guys know the uh, drill. Right, thanks for watching. Watch my other vids.